Hey guys, my name's Brad from North Adams, Massachusetts, and today I'm going to be teaching you about automation envelopes. So, over here I have a project opened up, and as we can see here, automation envelopes. So, right here, I have the modulation Y and modulation X for the envelope. So if we come down here to Invasion of Pumpkins, put the plugin. All right, so we have plugin right here. So I have a few envelopes here. So modulation Y and modulation X. So what I do is I right click on this mod here, which if you play just the pattern you get you get different uh, flanger effects so what I did over here was instead of having to go through the song playing around with this you create create envelopes which you just click on these little right click on these little knobs and click create automation clip and then it comes over here and creates this and then you can draw it and you can draw whatever you want so then it sounds like this. So you hear you and if you watch over here, you can see it move. So that's one way that you can uh, create modulation. Another way that you can modulate is you'll hear over here that it has a high pass filter on it. So I put a paradigm EQ over here, which if we go into the mixer, Invasion of Pumpkins, I have a parametric EQ over here, which you can also you can also modulate and automate the cutoff. So we'll see here that when it's playing, it's high pass, it's cutting off all the lower frequencies. Then if you start going down, it starts to let into it starts to let in more lower frequencies. Cut it off about 28 hertz. So, how you do that is by right clicking on this, which will this frequency knob over here, which makes it a high pass. I put a high pass filter on it, but then it can cut off frequencies. So, if I put it all the way up here. I automated it, so all you have to do is just right click, create automation clip, and then it creates an automation clip over here. And you can do it with any other any other plugin. So like Cubist Pumpkin over here, which was this one. So this one. Then you can watch the plugin. All it does is move it on its own. And that's the, uh, that's basically how you do automation envelopes. And so I have a few other automation envelopes around here. But that is basically how you do it. Now I hope this was insightful. Uh, so comment and let me know how you liked it. Thanks.